After Chatty's blood test results were followed up by his own GP, Billy wants to know the full extent of what is going on. My dad's one, they've literally rained. The minute they've got them, I told them to come straight away. He's gone there. Is that the results? Yes, yeah, so I said, come here. Because he always says he's fit and mm. healthy, you know? He's not fit. He's no way he's fit and healthy. He can be quite in denial about things. Like, Dad doesn't want to know. Yeah. Like, when I rang him and asked him about his results, he was just like, oh, no. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Dad's found out that his liver results are abnormal. That'd be your dad. And after telling the doctor that he drinks a lot more than what he should do daily, the doctor is concerned because they, you know, they do think his health could be at risk. Good morning. Hello, you all right? It kind of goes in waves. Like there can be weeks, months, everything's fine. And then obviously there's times where it gets out of control. Right, pups? You okay? Yep. Having these tests are the first that we know are 100% legit. Like, we know what the, he's been tested for. It's the first time we've seen the results, because he, he never... Yeah, he, he just tells us he's all right, but we've never actually seen the seen results. Seen results. Cheers, mate. Today, I just want to have a really honest chat with him and, you know, no-one's judging. We just want to support him and help him in any way we can. No, I eat healthy, I'm just alcohol, isn't it? You gonna do anything about that moving forward? Yeah, I'm gonna try to, yeah. It's only when I'm stressed, I'll drink, so. How many bottles of wine do you have a day? Be honest. Two bottles of wine a day. No, I live on my own. I'll go down to the pub for a bit of company and, uh, you know, you know, have a chat and talk, but mm. you're actually drinking while you're chatting and yeah. talking. It's a lifestyle, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. But yeah, I'm getting like, phone calls. See, see there thing. earlier, I'm getting phone calls. People in the booze are going, "Oh, come, where, you, where are you? Let's go and have a drink." It's like, what are you doing? Which is totally fine. At like, let's say two, three o'clock. Yeah, those are my mates at ten o'clock in the morning. You just got to cut it back a bit. You can come around here if you're bored. Yeah. Take up some hobbies, fishing, cycling. I'll try. I'll try, won't I? You know, obviously for us as his family, we don't want to see him throw his life. Oh, darling. 